Donald Trump has had a little bit of time now to absorb what happened yesterday in the press conference of Robert Mueller. And let's see how he's doing a day out. He went on a tweet storm. I'm not gonna read you all of them, there are far too many, but he did say this, and this one stands out. Russia, 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 that's all you heard at the beginning of this witch hunt hoax. And now Russia has disappeared because I had nothing to do with Russia helping me to get elected. It was a crime that didn't exist. So hold on, let's just pause. Because he just said, because I had nothing to do with Russia helping me to get elected, which when I first read that, I thought, zoinks, that sure stands out. And I honestly thought about tweeting how long until he backtracks on this. But I'm pretty sure that I woke up a little bit late. I think he had already backtracked at that point because despite the fact that he acknowledges there, but perhaps not even understanding, perhaps it's just a subconscious thing, that yes, of course, Russia, to the extent that they had an influence, and I'm not saying that it had a big influence or had a measurable influence or that that's been proven. But if they had an influence, if they had a goal, it was clearly to help Donald Trump get elected. That is clear from what they have done. It was also clear in the Robert Mueller report. They said in the report that the Trump administration, at that point, the Trump campaign, knew that it would help them or that the goal was that it would help them. And obviously, they had no interest in stymieing it. From the beginning until now, they deny that it even happened. They deny that it was done on their behalf or to benefit them, except in this one tweet. And that is you know, a huge issue all of its own. But there, Donald Trump is appearing to acknowledge for the first time what the vast majority of the country has long ago known. Only a few holdouts refused to accept that Russia was involved and that they did want Donald Trump to get elected. But he acknowledged it. And, and then like an hour later, he of course backtracked as you'll see in this video. No, Russia did not help me get elected. You know who got me elected? You know who got me elected? I got me elected. Russia didn't help me at all. Russia, if anything, I think helped the other side. I mean, look, most of what you hear politically, in, like when you wake up to when you go to sleep, most of what you hear in politics is absolute BS. But it is it is amazing the consistency and the the vigor with which they will, even with this minor little stepping out of line with acknowledging on the tweet, that they will cling to that idea that somehow Russia was actually hoping that Hillary Clinton would win and that their efforts to release damning information about Hillary Clinton was designed to get her into office. Donald Trump is clinging to that even though he clearly does not actually believe that, no one actually believes that. I just wanna mention one other thing, just because this is a weird thing that I forget exactly who it was on Twitter, they acknowledged this. Donald Trump has this thing, it's some sort of weird like baboon power move that he does where whenever he's against a person, he has to say almost all always in tweet form that that person asked him for something and he gleefully denied them that thing, that he rejected this person. If you look through his Twitter activity, everyone he has feuded with, he says wanted something and he denied them. And so Robert Mueller, this is the first time I've ever seen this. We're like two years into this thing. And only after Robert Mueller finally speaks does he come out with this. Robert Mueller came to the Oval Office along with other potential candidates seeking to be named the director of the FBI. He had already been in that position for 12 years. I told him no. The next day he was named special counsel, a total conflict of interest, nice. So look, he's saying that today. Steve Bannon already is quoted in the Mueller report as saying that the the idea that Robert Mueller had been attempting to work for Donald Trump was not true. It's odd that he's going back to that after it's already been refuted. But I just love that weird tick, this weird sort of kid-like version of being an alpha male, this ridiculous shallow version of masculinity where I had something over this person. They wanted something from me and I denied them. Okay, he pointed out like 11 different ways that you obstructed justice and this is you getting power back over him. I don't know, it's pathetic, but of course that's run of the bill in American politics in these days. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full damage report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.